Hi, I'm Greg with Zonata Consulting. Uh, this is a tutorial on the product overview for Zoho Learn. If you find this video useful, uh, please subscribe, give us a like, and uh, hit that notification bell. Thank you. Please enjoy. Uh, so we're taking you actually uh, through our uh, Zonata uh, instance of Zoho Learn uh, because we like to use this uh, app every single day. So Zoho Learn is divided into a couple of different sections. We've kind of alluded to them before. You've got the knowledge module and the learning module. Those are the two main hubs uh, inside of Zoho Learn. Knowledge is where we keep articles, and uh, we can group those articles as manuals. Then in the learning, we have uh, courses that we'll talk about in more detail. You also have uh, spaces, which allow you to sort of segment your Zoho Learn into different, uh, different learner demographics. So for example, in our uh, portal, we've got uh, spaces for the developers uh, versus uh, our Zenata standards and practices, which we put everybody into. So you can, you can use spaces to group manuals and courses together. Uh, and then you can also have individual uh, permissions set for those spaces and for the users to determine uh, who has access to what content. And speaking of settings, uh, there are quite a, a, a few that you can use around here. Uh, you can decide that your initial landing page for your Zoho Learn do you, are you focused more on people logging in to use the knowledge base or do they need to go to check out a space first? Or if you're just doing courses, you can have them go straight to the learning page. Similarly, you can uh, turn off one of these modules entirely if you don't plan on using one. Uh, no sense having it there if it's not going to have anything in it. Uh, you can also do a lot of custom branding, make it really look like it's within your company. Uh, in addition to the branding, you can also set a custom domain uh, if you so choose. Uh, you can also set up categories that different uh, courses can be uh, grouped within, similar to spaces. Uh, you can also set up uh, templates if you're going to be creating a lot of articles and you want all the articles to have a similar structure. You can create these different kinds of templates for different kinds of articles that people can use over and over, make it a little bit easier for people to kind of jump in and get started. Uh, when it comes to uh, filling up your knowledge base. Uh, here you can also manage any tags uh, that you create on any of your articles, uh, as well as uh, an audit log of uh, any activity that is going on. If you are uh, using Z uh, Zoho Learn as a standalone application, here is where you could uh, invite or manage your user list. If you are using Zoho Learn as part of Zoho One, like we are, then clicking either invite users or manage users will simply take you to your Zoho One admin panel. And uh, that is the gist uh, of uh, what Zoho Learn is for. Again, you will be seeing that we have a knowledge base and then a place to apply that knowledge uh, and assess individuals uh, inside of the learning space. Um, another uh, final note before we hop over to talking about building your knowledge base is that when it comes to this knowledge base and learning, uh, these are designed for your internal uh, practices. Uh, if you are, this isn't so much for people outside of your organization. If you wanted to create courses that other people outside of your company could sign up for and take, that's not really what this is for. For that, you'd probably uh, want to go more in uh, the route of Zoho Creator if you wanted a custom application, uh, or there, there's another app. Uh, Josh, can you remind me? I know there's another, I believe it came out, was it last Zoho year? Showtime. Showtime and then Trainer Central. Trainer Central, that was the one I was thinking of. Trainer Central. Trainer Central, that would be for if you were wanting to educate people outside of your organization. Thank you for joining us uh, for that video. If you uh, enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the notification bell. That way you can be alerted when we post new content here on the Zanata channel. 
Uh, if you have any questions or feedback for us, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Uh, it really helps us uh, improve our work here at Zanata, and your question could be answered in a uh, CRM Zen show in a future week. Uh, thank you once again, and we'll see you next time.